Local breweries in southeast Louisiana have seen a major boost in recent years. Many attribute that to the often bustling tap rooms located at the breweries. And in his locally brewed series, Rob Krieger explores the tap room culture and how it's created a platform for other businesses and the community. Outdoor settings. Tasty meals, the kids, the dogs, the beer. A drink with friends looks a lot different these days, especially if you're at a brewery. It's a sense of pride, but it also is it's a great destination where you don't have the the stereotypical, you know, husband sneaking out to go to the bar. Now the whole family can go to the brewery. That's a big selling point for families looking to enjoy a crisp brew, especially outside in some beautiful weather. Tap rooms at breweries offer something you just won't find in any bar. They feel like they're just coming home, you know, and they love the fact that, you know, all of our beer tenders are awesome personality wise and we make sure and engage with all the people here, you know. Um, so it's just, it, we just have a great time. You know, we don't look at it as, as work. <laughs> it's that inviting atmosphere that keeps visitors coming back and the people who live nearby calling these places home. And that's how it used to be in, in Europe where each neighborhood had its own brewery. They made their own beer and that's where you went. These days, the tap rooms are more than just a neighborhood watering hole though. In fact, you could call them a gallery of beer with dozens of taps, often painted with new experimental flavors. That is the, uh, you know, the excitement as a brewer wanting a new canvas to paint on. You know, we're artists, right? Uh, you know, you need to exercise your artistic ability by doing something different. The tap rooms from Abita to Urban South and Faubourg to Zoni Mash give that variety while nestling in other craveable amenities. Our goal was really to make it, uh, you know, a comfortable place, whether you're coming here to drink beer or eat food or listen to music or, or whatever just to hang out. The comfort and the ability to bring out your family or your pets has created an entire industry buzzing off of brewery. We bring the food, he brings the crowd and the beer and the beautiful ambiance and, and that's the relationship for us. I mean, we love it. Xander White with Z's Pizzeria knows without a spot like this, his business wouldn't likely be cooking the way it does with beer by its side. Pop-ups would be hard without this environment. I mean, breweries supply such a large environment and obviously a family environment with beer. I mean, people love to come here, so adding food in is a no-brainer. Uh, and for us, if we didn't have, say, a Zoni or a Second Line or a brewery like that, you know, um, where would we do this? We'd be on the street corner. Coming off the street corner, brewery tours are hopping, hitting a handful of spaces with groups of people eager to taste the New Orleans beer scene as it begins to compete with other brewing towns across the country. Houston has a tour for every quadrant of the city. Um, and of course, you've got places like Asheville that are just nothing but breweries. So people know about brewery tours. What they didn't know when we first started was that New Orleans was now a brewing town. These spaces are quickly becoming a hub, not just for drinking and eating, but growing the community. We're more than just a manufacturer of an alcoholic beverage. Uh, we begin become, you know, we do a lot of fundraisers. I mean, we're able to use our space and use our community to do better things. It's an outpouring of support paired up with some local suds that makes operations like Gnarly Barley's a shot in the arm. It's been really fulfilling to be able to take my business and do something good with it and have the love and the community that we do have from our, our, like I said, our colleagues and our customers. With food, fundraising, or friends always on tap, these local brewers are committed to putting smiles on faces, even if beer isn't your favorite. We can find a beer that you like. <laughs> and when somebody has that like moment of, oh, that's why you like this stuff. Like that's the most interesting part for me. That's the most fun. Bob Krieger, Fox 8, Google First. Now tomorrow night, Rob is diving into the art of the can to help explain how what you see on the shelves may help the taste of your favorite brew shine. You can also find our map of all the local breweries in southeastern Louisiana. Just check out our website, fox8live.com.